are ready to go to the gym and put my workout clothes on. Got these from Primark. And they're like neoprene. When I tell y'all, they is like, they like that. Okay? Bam! Bam! So, I gotta run upstairs and get me a sports bra. I need to put y'all on the charger. Because, yeah, I like on 9%. So, we're gonna try this again. <laughs> I'm at the gym. About to get it in, baby. Waiting on this long. Spider decided to build a home on his rear view mirror. Or his side view mirror. And he had to destruct it real quick. Mm-hmm. Eviction. The gym is damn near empty this morning. Good for me. So y'all, I have two loads of laundry to put up. And clearly that ain't happening right now. Nope. <sighs> so I'm take a shower, get dressed for work. Oh, honey. I gotta set my hair, cause me, at the gym, sweating. <sighs> Sweated it out. So, I'll holla at y'all. On my African print skirt, maxi skirt. <sighs> Represent our culture today. Okay, okay. I have on wedges, cause my skirt is so long. And I wouldn't even want it hemmed to be shorter because I like my maxi skirts to be full. Oh, y'all. Oh, it's hot. Satan's den. Oh. So originally I had on a white, a white top, but um, it was V-neck. And it was a little too low so I decided to go with a bodysuit so I don't have to worry about constantly pulling down my shirt and tucking so it's certain things y'all that bodysuits are made to be worn within maxi skirts or high waist pants high waist skirts anything that's like a jumper and like the top is gonna be out a bodysuit is your best friend, okay? Oh my gosh, this car can't cool off fast enough! Shit! I gotta uh, pull up the whole skirt, y'all! That's how hot it is! And it's hot in heat! We're trying to go see Kevin Hart tomorrow night on Saturday. So I had switched to my schedule with another manager so that I can work in the morning and be off by four. Um, I, I, a good laugh with Kevin Hart will be real good right about now, okay? Okay. Because I think it's his irresponsible tour. And um, I love how Kevin Hart can turn his life into a story. Technically, all his tours are about his life, you know what I'm saying? And we all know the reason why this one is named the Irresponsible Tour because he acted irresponsibly. And so, I told Mr. Long that um, I think it will be, he wants to go to the one in September. And it's gonna be at Madison Square Garden. Uh, the one here in Jersey is at the Prudential Center and Y'all, the cheapest tickets is $40. The most expensive is $115, no, $155. And so, I told him, I said, I think we should go. Like, I'm gonna go tomorrow. Ah, we gonna go to Madison Square Garden for something else. You know what I'm saying? Cause I told him I'm already taking off a week in September. And the week that I'm taking off is not the week 
that the uh, Kevin Hart tour is on and I was like there's no guarantee that I'll be able to get that day off maybe I can open but when you're traveling to New York you need the whole day like for real because anything can happen straight up so I'm looking forward to that so um, I'm gonna call him back later and see if he was able to uh, secure them tickets <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I can get my ha ha he he on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I don't laugh like that. You know, y'all say my laugh is quite contagious. I can believe that. So, y'all, my necklace broke the other night. And I think it's time for me to just probably order me another one. But I'm getting the one I have. I'm getting it fixed on my break. I'm gonna take it to the jeweler and have them fix it. <sighs> but I think I want a new one. And when I order a new one, I'm going to order a new one to give away the month of September to one of y'all. So one of y'all lucky subscribers, you will have an eclectic Nista plate around your neck too, because you are a what? A true eclectic Nista. So y'all call my mom back because uh, she called me yesterday and y'all ain't seen me yesterday because I was in woe with cramps so I wasn't in the mood to talk I was PMSing like a mug I ain't gonna even lie y'all that whole rant probably was for me PMSing like I tell y'all I can't stand that half of Eve I can't I can't I can't I can't stand Eve ass So call my mom back because she called yesterday and I was napping and um because I had just took something and so call her back so she won't feel like I'm neglecting her you know what I'm saying trying to get her and Jada to send me these uh video clips for y'all so I can create these vlogs um for Jada's Jada and grandma Nista on uh, summer vacation so y'all can keep up with what's going on with little jay you feel me so jay will be home y'all the middle of next month i look forward to seeing her um getting looking forward to getting ready to go back to school shopping y'all it don't even feel like like i'm even supposed to be talking about like some back to school shopping okay because they just got out of damn school on the 22nd of june okay and we're already talking about back to school however jada will be a rising junior and we just got confirmation in the mail today that um this particular uh class and program that she wanted to be involved in her junior year she got approved and like they'll be transporting them to this other school it's like uh, pretty much like learning a trade and hers is going to be in graphic design so she got approved i can't wait to tell her uh, when i call my mom to let her know that we just got the letter in the mail today and so part of her day will be spent at her high school and the other part of the day will be spent at this other school so little shimori is like getting off to her uh her future career Okay, Popo, we see you. Okay. All right, y'all. Let me, um, because they cutting trees and shit again, so y'all know how that is. It's going to be a lot of stop and go. And right now, I'm glad I'm in the go. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Woo. Y'all, my ass going to be floating today. Okay? Floating. This long-ass maxi skirt on. Like, real talk. Maxi skirts like this make you look and feel so tall. All right, y'all, I'm back floating, floating, gliding, gliding through the mall. I had a delicious, delicious, delicious lunch. And y'all, if y'all see a piece of my outfit missing, that's that eclectic Nista that be around my neck. She popped. Damn, 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 I feel like, what's her name? What's her name on Good Times? Oh, my God. It's so quiet in the neighborhood. 
a morning's like this, y'all. You have to pick and choose your battles wisely. And y'all probably like, Steph, what are you talking about? Choose your battles wisely. Past two days, y'all, I am running off of, let's see, three hours, four, maybe four, four hours. Um, that self-esteem on just the I am running off of a total of eight hours sleep the past two days, y'all. <sighs> because Friday was hectic, okay? So y'all see, Friday came and gone. So then, yesterday, on Saturday, Friday night, I got I got off at 11 o'clock on the dot. We was locking up the doors, okay? For me to be back at 7 a.m. I ain't getting home until like 11.40. I had to take a shower. I gotta wind down because I don't just wind down y'all immediately. Then alarm go off at five o'clock. I'm like So then get up, get dressed, and because I knew I was doing dual duties yesterday, meaning a working woman, and then I'm going to enjoy my evening out, I still had to dress comfortably okay so I had on some skinny jeans yesterday with the zippers that come up the side of the leg I had on this uh, like a soft gray like ruffled when I say ruffled jaw ruffled like all down the middle like falling ruffles okay um, but it was like sheer and it had like poof sleeves and like you could leave you know just enough you know cleavage you know for just a little <laughs> hello um and i have on the pointed flats slip on flats that y'all see i have on right now or when i was walking so i was comfort makeup i made sure i did my makeup to where it would last all day like no freshening up like hella a whole lot and then my hair was in a bun. Yesterday morning, I, I lost a twist. So this evening, or tomorrow evening, is supposed to come over, and I think she did them just a little too big because all it's gonna take is for some steam to hit my hair and it's gonna unravel. So she's gonna go back through and just like, probably make the ones on the perimeter smaller so that'll probably be today probably today i'll see you when i get to work so then y'all i got off well i got to work yesterday and i, I made my own coffee yesterday because i was struggling getting out to bed all right so then mr long took me to work so we wouldn't be doing a whole lot of like back paddling him and Bond got up and took me to work yesterday. And here I go right here. Look at my baby. He's like, yeah. Come on to work. Take your child to work day. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I was moving in moderate, at a moderate pace yesterday morning when I got to work. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I was sitting at the computer doing the order and I was about to fall asleep. Oh my gosh, I was about to fall asleep. So like activities for me yesterday required me to move. Mm -hmm. So he picked me up. I was off at four o'clock on the dot. We got down to Newark around about 520. And when we got down there, y'all, these people for these events, they be tripping. Okay, like real top tripping like uh 45 dollars for parking like really and they do it to you to make sure like in the most convenient spot 
$45 to park right across the way from the Prudential Center. Okay, so this is when you be a, a smart diva, okay? And your ass don't be wearing no astronomical ass high heels, okay? Child, I'm sorry for some of them girls I saw last night with these four, five inch heels on. Am I missing the memo? Please tell me, Dunkin' Donuts. Oh my gosh. Are they not open on Sundays? Am I missing something? I think I'm missing something. Cause the one by my job ain't open either. I do not want to be subject to go to McDonald's. Oh my God. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Y'all. I was so looking forward to that damn coffee. Shamala Hoochie. Damn. I was even willing to be late for it, okay? Scratch that damn idea. Okay, sorry y'all. Okay, back focused. So, we get down there. My husband, he doesn't like to shop around for options, okay? But I had to encourage the brother to do so. $45 to park, and I'm gonna just walk across the street. And let me just tell you, it wasn't for convenience because when they got time to go, Child, please, y'all. It took forever for people to get out of everywhere, okay? Child was sleeping in the car on the way home. I was I was trying to sleep and wasn't able, able to sleep comfortably, okay? But anywho, y'all, we got to the venue and we did end up finding parking for what I thought was reasonable, which was $20. Okay, looks like y'all don't want me to be great either this morning because um y'all just is like scratch that we ain't trying to hear that because we ain't on memory that's cool that's cool I i'll fix y'all right quick so get the y'all see try not to be so y'all we get the we have plenty of time to go eat dinner because the show doesn't start until 7. Real time, that means 7.45. And we go to this restaurant. I don't even remember the name of the restaurant, y'all. But I'm pretty sure y'all see it right here in this clip. Ketchup, it was like really good, y'all. It was popping, and I had these two coconut drinks, and they was delicious. And I was gulping them down like water. And y'all, we met this couple because of the seating. We met this couple. Um, it was actually three couples sitting at one damn table, okay? Because it was like bench, like you know, park bench tops, uh, picnic bench style tables okay and so this one couple sat with us at first and they was like on the other far end the second couple that sat with us was of my white caucasian sisters okay and she was like is anyone sitting there and i was like no and she was like okay she said well do you mind no 
So y'all, let's say we was like close for comfort, like we really was, like we all could be in each other's conversation, like with no problem, right? And so when our food came, the lady was sitting by me, she asked me, she was like, what's that? And I told her, she was like, oh, that looks yummy. And then so um, she was like, okay, I made a good choice, I made a good choice. So, you know, me and James talking and then they started talking with us. I don't even know how this conversation started, but y'all, our whole dinner, you would have thought that we all came there together, okay? That is how, like, just like that, we just meshed, okay? The husband and wife, they were diehard giant fans, but their children, who is 18 and 15, they diehard Dallas Cowboy fans. The husband was born in uh, Texas, and he lived in Texas, and so it's just something he said his son took to and the daughter the daughter could be like the next female uh sports announcer okay because her mama says she knows sports like the back of her hand okay so y'all we sitting there we talking about sports we talking about venues um we talking about they have been to a couple of kevin hart's shows and stuff like that and y'all they're just talking about how funny he is and like they've been to dave chappelle how you know Dave Chappelle is like real raw, unapologetically uh, political, okay? And he's very uh, not politically correct, okay, to say the least. So we just was talking about that and stuff like that. And then uh, we got to talking about like our children. And y'all, I don't care what nobody say. This is a universal language when you are raising children in today's time. I don't care if, you're, if you are black, white, Hispanic, um, Jewish, Mexican, um, let me make sure I don't forget nobody, Middle Eastern, uh, African, it don't matter what nationality you are. As parents, we all speak this universal language with our children. And you wanna know what it is? I'm gonna tell you what it is. All of us, all of us understand the power of the phone. All of us. We sitting there talking and the couple next to us, they said that same damn thing. All of us understand the power of the damn cell phone. All of us. Child, I was like, I was sitting there, I had to give her a high five because they born and raised um, their children here in New Jersey, New York area, and the same thing applies. You act up, you don't know how to act, you're not doing right in school. Parents take the fucking phone, y'all. It's not like, so I'll be tripping, I'll be tripping the job. I still take my Jada's phone. I don't care if she paid a phone bill. I don't care. If I see the phone as a distraction, I'm going to take it. Child, to hear. Y'all listen to this. How ironic is this? Chick sitting next to me. Why her name's Stephanie too. You want to know when we found this out? When we got ready to leave, okay? We, uh, we was like, it was nice to meet you. Her husband's name was... Um, was Ism, and she was Stephanie. And I was like, Stephanie, she's like, I know I like you! We hugging each other like we done been BFFs, child, okay, for the past hour and a half talking. Y'all, oh my gosh, it's so nice when you can go out, meet people, and y'all just, bam, click like that, okay? And some of the most universal things that could connect people is something like comedy, Okay, talking about your children, talking about sports. Okay, y'all, we had such a great conversation with them, and me and the wife, of course, we uh, uh, started following each other on Facebook because she was on Facebook showing me pictures of her son and her daughter, and her son's getting ready to go to college, and she's so like excited that he's going to a, a, a college in the South because she says she thinks from a kid from New Jersey, you know, it, it shows diversity 
it teaches them other cultures other parts of the world you know what we what they do up here in the north they don't do in the south and y'all it was just nice to talk to some other parents that um parent that's all i'm gonna say some other parents that parent responsibly okay and don't see nothing wrong with uh taking damn phones and y'all we was talking about um parenting too when it comes to the children leaving the house okay this was mentioned i told y'all in the last fall okay y'all when i say i want my kids to leave the nest and spread their wings and fly what mama bird and papa bird don't okay however trust and believe i understand there's stages to this because when i was growing up everybody all my friends they all said they moved out their parents house like my girl t she said that on the day she graduated y'all she packed her shit up in a, a a big ass uh hefty black garbage bag she packed her shit up and got in a car with her friends and was like peace out chuck them deuces i'll see you when i see you okay 18 she graduated she was like bye bye she didn't have a, a, a plan she just was like she was just gonna go with the flow of life and she was just gonna figure it out well in this day and time the, the children we're raising now we don't we don't give them that you know okay yes need to figure it out we don't get that to them okay we don't i i moved out of my mom's house when i had just turned 20 and that's when i moved out was i financially uh stable no was i ready uh, mentally and emotionally i was ready financially no i wasn't however i left i left the nest and me and james had to figure that shit out okay we had some mentors down the line that you know um we first got to hawaii you know um ooh, i don't know if mrs gail is is still living or not and if she is thank you and if she's not god bless your soul but she broke it down for me because she knew my husband was gonna be gone all the time. She just told me, she was like, Steph, you can't live like you live in, you can't live like you're a tourist in Hawaii. You can't. You have to live like the locals, okay? And you know, she told me how to pay, pay my rent, how to like, you know, divvy my money up when we got paid and stuff like that to still be able to pay things but not be broke. So y'all, I'm thankful for that. But these, this, this generation here, we're raising them a little different, okay? Because y'all know that saying, we all want our children to have what we didn't have. Okay, so when I say y'all, I want Jasmine and them to leave the nest, and I look forward to that. I do. I ain't taking away from that. I'm not. I'm not. However, I'm not just throwing them out. It's not like Jasmine graduated from college, and we told her, you got to go. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more. We ain't tell her that, okay? We ain't tell her that. Y'all know I was about to go into full blown singing, okay? We ain't tell her that. However, we're preparing her. See, those things that y'all don't know, we're preparing her behind the scenes. You know, Jazz lives with us. However, Jazz pays rent. Um, Jazz pays for her car. Jazz pays for her car insurance. Jazz takes care of her responsibilities therefore we are providing a roof over her head for more than less than a fraction of the price okay that she would be out here paying rent now okay no utilities no wi-fi no cable none of those things however slowly but surely y'all we have like transitioned those things to her so that she starts to learn that you know you don't just work to do whatever the hell you want to you know what i'm saying it don't work like that you know you work and you have responsibilities and we're teaching jada that now you work you pay your phone bill you don't do right in school we take the phone okay that's simple it is that simple because y'all when i i just went down to nationalities let's just talk about bank accounts okay y'all know kevin hart 
be the first one to say how my bank account set up. Um, I gotta move this out of my savings account to my checking account. Child, please. Even Kevin Hart, celebrity, okay? He even said that. He said his son act like a crackhead when he take the damn phone from him when he be acting up. So, y'all, <laughs> it's power in the cell phone, okay? He said his son acts like a fucking crackhead when he ain't got no phone. He, as soon as he took his phone, he started going into down withdrawal, okay? It's something that we can control our kids with. Back in the day, it was simpler for us. Um, we can't go outside and play. We on punishment, okay? We can't watch TV. That was detrimental for us back in the 80s and 90s, okay? To not watch TV on uh, Thursday night when the Cosby Show came on and Martin came on. Child, please, we was devastated if we couldn't watch that shit. Real talk. So it was just great conversation before dinner and then we, we, we parted ways. Then we got in there, y'all. When I tell y'all, if I ain't hit this like 10, 15, 20 times, like how y'all say, I be saying, however, child, please, if I ain't hit this by 15, 20 times before the show even started, if you caught with your cell phone out, you will be tapped on the shoulder and you will be asked to leave with no refund. All the material that Kevin Hart did last night. I'm pretty sure it wasn't like new. It's just stuff that we ain't seen yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he's doing the same, you know, his lineup. Y'all, it was so good. It was so good. And of course, the name of his tour is Irresponsible. So he talked about how this past year he has just been very fucking irresponsible and how he is really having to like kiss his wife's ass because uh, he fucked up. And he said he owns his fuck up. He was like, that's the difference with being a grown ass man and um, I guess a bitch ass man. You know what I'm saying? He owns his fuck up. And he was like, this marriage he has to make work because this is his second marriage. He said he ain't looking for no divorce or anything like that. He was like, why? He was like, because he felt like if he lost this wife because of his fuck up, he was like, the next person he get with, he was like, it's just gonna be, it ain't gonna even be a marriage. It's gonna be a death buddy. He was like, because who wants to die alone? Nobody. That's not how you wanna spend your days, okay? Such a good show, y'all. When I tell y'all, I laughed all night. Oh my gosh. I do feel a little hoarseness in my voice. My, my voice is a little scratchy from laughing and hollering. Um, I am very sleepy. I did not get home last night until about, it was 12.20. Overall, I had a wonderful, wonderful night. Friday night, y'all, yeah, I was suffering because I got home late and I had to be to work bright and early the next morning. And I gotta be to work bright and early this morning. Like, the sun just came up, y'all. It's, it's 6.50, okay? And, uh, yeah, a sister is tired. I'm so tired. Whatever I do in the next three to four hours, because we don't open until 11, um, I need to be moving, because, child, I'm, I'm liable to um, find find a shelf in the, in the back room and get amongst the clothes and take a nap. Y'all, a sister is tired, okay? However, and if I just mind over matter, work through it, and just replay some of the stuff I heard last night that Kevin Hart said, I'm gonna make it through the day. I get off at four, trying to contemplate on what I'm going to cook. I'm not quite sure. I'll probably go on Food Network and see uh, what I can whip up right quick beautiful evening and um, I don't know what today holds however let's pray pleasant things okay so y'all I'm going to try to find me some coffee on the way I'm probably gonna stop at Starbucks cuz I know they open probably gonna stop there and get me some coffee because I'm not gonna make it if I don't this morning I really need that caffeine with a shot of espresso okay Okay. I told y'all.
but I had to. It was so worth it being late. It is. I had to do it, y'all. I had to get this caffeine. Dunkin' Donuts closed and shit this morning. Like, really? I didn't know they closed or open late on Sunday. Do y'all know how many times I done tried to do this snap? A lot. It was so worth getting this. Being six minutes late, it was worth it. I ain't gonna even lie, it was. Look at my buddy over there. I am dyslexic. I keep writing on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm dyslexic. I keep writing. You like R. Kelly now? I guess. <laughs> don't, don't claim that. Do no, not. No, that is no, not no. a trait to claim. <laughs> work now I went to Walmart I got stuff for dinner and now I just need a grown person's drink great <laughs> you don't have any capriccios Okay, that's it on. Uh-huh. This is the long drink of choice right here. It's only 5.35. I got off at 4 and I was supposed to walk out the door. Like they were supposed to see the back of my damn head at 4, 3 59. Didn't see the back of my head till 4 17. I was still there. Mm -hmm. thinking about cooking when I got off work that I didn't even take out what I was going to cook but I'm gonna take them out tonight so that they could be ready for me to cook Tuesday and what I wanted to cook tonight was Cornish tins and stuffing and greens but that ain't happening nah shawty so we're gonna do some barbecue pork chops green beans and some wild rice we're gonna do tonight and the reason why we doing that is because Stephanie ain't got to stand in the kitchen I could just put this ish all in the damn uh, oven hello thank you <sighs> they like why she got a camera up there cuz my family with me my people with me so that's what I'm cooking tonight for dinner then um today I discovered something that we sell at Primark I was unaware I, I was unaware of the um, the differences that we sell and like cosmetics uh cosmetic storage so y'all know I have a vanity and there are some pieces that like I be wanting to get rid of, some pieces like I felt like I needed another piece. Well, today I found it, okay? 
and uh, I found one. Oh gosh, I still got these glasses on my head. Y'all, because I, I can't be reading that little bitty script that be on that uh, ticket. Child, I be having to pull out some glasses, okay? Those is my glasses, y'all. So, found some storage that I'm gonna rearrange my uh, vanity while I'm cooking dinner. Khadija's is supposed to come over, so I had to make sure I got enough because Jasmine's coming home tonight. Jasmine was in Brooklyn uh, this week. So, <sighs> my husband texted me earlier this morning, y'all, like around about eight or nine o'clock. Oh, Jazz is home. I bet you she ain't stop and get no fish from ShopRite like I told her to. I bet you she ain't do none of that. How much you wanna bet? I bet y'all. Y'all wanna bet? Bet y'all five dollars. She ain't got no fish. That's what I was talking about cooking earlier. Like talking about cooking fish and grits. And she ain't never called me back. So let me call one of them out here to help. But my baby daddy, he texted me this morning. He was like, he was like, how you doing? He was like, you tired? He said, cause I know you are. Tired is an understatement. But y'all, we women. We ain't got time to be tired. We ain't got time. We got ish to do, okay? So, let me get one of these folks out here to come help bring the groceries in and um, I'll see y'all once I get cooking. Get it popping.